Hello, it's Barry here from Barry's Views and welcome to one of my views, ones I haven't done in a long, long time. But you're wondering, Barry, where the heck are you? Well, I'm actually in the shed in the lot at the moment because I've come outside, get do my bit of exercise and uh, get out the ass for a little while because it's doing my head in. But there you go, that's why we asked, it looked a bit weird. Yeah, that's shed, yeah, that's our fault. Bit of peace and quiet. Sit here and have a little reminisce of things I need to do and one of them was this. Now the reason I'm doing this Barry's view is to basically talk about this new phone app that people are, well the new app is supposed to be uh, taking place, or look at what I'm looking at, not taking place, new app that's um, been introduced is what I'm looking for, um, yeah for this Covid-19 virus that's going around, unfortunately, um, yeah but um, I have a few concerns with it really, yes it's a good idea, I think, well in, in parts it's a good idea, but the problem I'm having with it, all right, they're trialing it on the Isle of Wight. Now, if you don't know the UK, it's a little island just off of Portsmouth, Southampton, just down the bottom. If you look at the UK, just down the bottom, you'll see a little island that's called the Isle of Wight. Now, they're apparently trialing this new app that it's uh, basically to do with this COVID-19. So it's supposed to be alert you if you've been in contact with or come into contact with someone who's had the virus or has been diagnosed with the virus. And then you're supposed to go, oh no, I may have it. And then go and get yourself sorted out. Go and get a test if there's any available, should we say. Um, yeah, but my problem with it is, all right, they say it's a phone app. You need to have a smartphone. You need to have your um, Bluetooth on. And also you need to know if the person's put the information on it. Now, now they're saying... That it's all security, nobody gets your information, it's only a few details you're supposed to put on it and the government and whoever's dealing with it doesn't get your inf information unless you come down with the virus. Then you're supposed to notify them and then you get tested to see if you have or not and it all gets pinged to wherever. Now, I see a problem with this. The problem is, apparently to start off with, uh, with the smartphones, obviously you, you need a smartphone. So, but I know some people people live on the Isle of Wight, and they have problems connecting with 4G. They still have 3G in some places on the Isle of Wight, as far as I remember. Imagine it's going back a few years. Um, so they don't get decent signals. Not everyone can have smartphones on the Isle of Wight because the signal's crap apparently. Um, so they just have normal mobile phones. And apparently it's the trial off first with the iPhone, which apparently most people have it. Um, and yeah. So you need to have an iPhone. I'm not sure if it's available on Android. When I checked, it wasn't, but it may be now. I don't know. Um, and also, uh, you need to put the information in yourself. So, and what's the other problem? Oh yeah, and the problem is it needs, for it to work, it needs at least 60, 70% of the population to have this app and download it. Now, that's a problem there, isn't it? Straight away. Because um, if you've got COVID-19, if you have had, unfortunate enough to have this virus, are you really going to put that information out there? You should, if you have had it, so let everyone know. But the problem is, are you really going to do it? Are people, are people going to be, all right, you're going to have some honest Joes who, or, or, and, and who will do it, but some other people ain't going to do it. Uh, and again, you need to have the Bluetooth uh, switched on. <laughs> As we know, Bluetooth have known to wear batteries down very quickly. And apparently if you come in contact with someone, not walk past, you need to be in their presence for for 10 minutes or more apparently. And then apparently you're supposed to ping you and say, you've been in contact. It doesn't say who you've been in contact with, obviously, because you don't want to start pointing fingers. Yeah, it's, supposed to, uh, put, it's supposed to say, it pings you and says, you may have been in contact with somebody who's had the virus and then you're supposed to get medical assistance or medical advice. But then if you put the information in, it, it's, it's one of those things and roundabouts. It's, I don't know if it's gonna work. We need something like that, because they tried this this sort of thing, I think it was in South Korea or something like that. Um, yeah, and only 20% of the population downloaded this app. So it didn't work. But say, because it needs 60, 70% of this of the population to do it and apparently they're talking to I was listening to the news to that this morning and this report said he's talked he spoke to people who have developed the app and apparently it doesn't ping you well it said they said six months time within six months 
So you could you could have been in contact with 20, 30 people who've had this and you won't know for six months. It don't make sense to me. Now, all right, yeah, you do the testing. It's better to just go and do the normal testing and things like that. But I, can't, I just, um, I don't see it working. I'll be surprised if it does, but you never know. Things have surprised me before. And he says, it's, it's just getting, why is it, was this not sorted out when it first, you know, when we, when we first had the, the testing? Why didn't they, nobody come up with it straight away? So, oh, we've got this testing thing, blah, blah, blah. So if it does work on the Isle of Wight, apparently, they're gonna um, trial it over on the mainland, as they say, on the rest of the UK as well. But as again, you still need to need 67% of the population to do it. And they all need to have a smartphone, they all need to turn their uh, Bluetooths on, and you're supposed to rely on the government not leaking the information to anyone. So thank you very much for watching. You all take care of yourself. Look after one another. Until the next time, see you later.